see I have the M1102 trailer in tow along with the Smitty built Gen 2 rooftop tent. I'm gonna finally take the Mojave off road, see how well it does. And also, this is a test to see uh, how well it uh, tows. As you can see, I'm on the highway right now, going about 63 miles per hour. So far, so good. It is a little, you do feel it a little more than you did in the Ram Power Wagon, but that's kind of to be expected. This, this is not a heavy duty pickup. This is not a three quarter ton pickup by any stretch of the imagination. And it shows, but is it doing it? Yes, it's doing it extremely well actually so anyway yeah i'm heading to uh i'm gonna be heading to hidden falls adventure park which is near marble falls texas uh in the heart of the hill country about an hour west of austin a couple hours north of uh, san antonio but with the weather being so nice this weekend would you believe it all the camping spots including the tent camping spots at hidden falls are all taken i could not believe that but i did manage to find a place to camp that's near the park uh, it's a little off the beaten path. I hate arriving at camp in the dark. But it beats not camping. Pretty nice, it's along the river. Out this way is the river, you can't really see it. Just the usuals. Ribeye steak and corn. It's got the juice. Wah, wah. Okay, trying a new thing here. Got the uh, large propane tank and the Mr. Buddy heater, the large one, sitting on the wheel well of the M1102. It's a calm wind night. This might not work if it's windy because uh, this rain fly kind of traps. I think it would trap this uh, warm air here. This comes with a fan. Runs off uh, D batteries. And it'll help blow that radiant warm air forward and see how that does i mean it's a little bit close there but i don't think it's going to get hot enough to really uh catch that material on fire and it's a cold night tonight it's uh down in the 20s the lows there's already already got frost forming on the uh the e-cooler it's 33 degrees inside it's actually warmer inside the cooler it's a nice night It'd be nice if the neighbors would turn their music off getting kind of late but you know it's the weekend you know it's time to let loose party a little maybe it'll just put me to sleep
Hi, how are you? Good. Head up there and make sure you know your license plate. Okay. All right, heading to the trails at Hidden Falls. I tell you, so far, the way the Mojave rides off-road on, on like dirt roads, washboard roads, it's very similar to previous Wranglers I've had when they were aired down, only this is aired up. That's incredible. Like I, I realized when I was on that little uh, lake, Lakeview Trail there at Schaefer Bend, that it was, it was doing stuff, I felt like I had already aired down and, and I needed to air up. I was kind of thinking I need to air back. Oh wait, no, I didn't air down. I mean, it just, it handled everything ride-wise very well. It, it handled everything really well, actually. I think I'm gonna leave the M1102 here. I don't want to take it on all the trails here. I want to see how this Mojave does without being attached to a trailer. Ah, oh, the beauty of a manual transmission. As good as this thing rides off-road with this suspension, still a good idea to air down the tires. I didn't want to lose all my ground clearance uh, with the Mojave being stock and everything. So I think this We'll give it a, the tire some good flex on the rocks without uh, losing too much ground clearance. Kind of a good compromise. And I did uh, debate just manually disconnecting my front sway bar to give it more uh, front axle articulation. Uh, it can be done just uh, using some hand tools, but I didn't have anything to really hold the sway bar up and out of the way once it's unfastened. And plus, just kind of want to see how the Mojave handles uh, with it connected, which is kind of in its natural state. Um, I imagine you'll want it connected if you're doing like high speed, although I, I'm not going to be doing any high speed. Uh, the, the highest speed limit within the park is about 15 miles per hour, so nothing crazy uh, high speed wise here, but still getting a chance to see how the Mojave uh, does out on the trails. Let's get going. This is also going to be an endurance test to see how uh, how this uh, Massimo E cooler can handle bumps. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, this is the way up to Wildcat Mountain. And this is the hill climb that I've taken every off-road vehicle of mine up to kind of gauge how they all stack up against each other. I've been up this in the snow with the Gladiator Rubicon. Uh, I had the 4xE up here in the rain. I've had the Ram Rebel uh, up here when it was muddy. And they've all made it up. They've all had to take different lines. I mean, I've had I had the TJ uh, Rubicon up here. Uh, you name it. This is what I take. I even took a Ram 1500 Lone Star stock. And believe it or not, it went up this hill. I mean, it may not look like much, but it's, it's a pretty steep grade. And we're gonna find out just how steep Everything hits bottom through here except the TJ, but climbed it up really easy. That's what you call three wheeling without uh, disconnecting the front sway bar. This is kind of what you get. Although the front axle still articulates a little bit. Rear passenger tire is stuffed. Great to connect on APRS. Um, how's uh, in falls today? I guess it's probably a little muddy. Yeah, a little bit. There's mud here and there, but it's it's kind of nice. It keeps the uh, helps keep the dust down. Over. Sounds good. I'm mobile, so I may be out a bit, um, but uh, I'm also on the very top of a hill, which probably explains why we're getting each other on uh, the calling frequency. But uh, anyway. Enjoy your day and uh, have lots of fun out there. I wish I could join you. Well, had a little bit of lunch. Enjoyed the views here at Wildcat Mountain. I think it's time uh, to head on down the mountain and probably get going. It is Sunday afternoon. Can't spend all day out here as much as I would like to, but this has been a very enjoyable little getaway. So I'm gonna get on out of here.
hooked up, ready to hit the road again. I really do think a sway bar disconnect would be very helpful. It'll make this essentially as capable as a Rubicon, except for the, the four to one transfer case and the front locker. But other than that, it really, it felt very similar to my Gladiator Rubicon that I owned over a year ago. And it was a lot of fun to drive. The suspension really soaks up bumps well, especially for stock, it's, it's incredible. And it tows really well as, as well. I, I was kind of surprised by how well it towed the M1102 trailer. And uh, just looking forward to the next one. Hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Until then, take care. We'll see you next time.